Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. It took, what, this is part 84, 85, around there. So it took this long to finally get to where we are now. And this case is finally over, Man on Guard is guilty, and we saved Maya. So let's go ahead and watch the finale. You were great out there, Phoenix! What I did out there was right, wasn't it? This is the first time you've not gotten, gotten your client off. You got them a guilty verdict this time. But you have to look past all that to what's really important. You now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yeah, I understand now. Phoenix, think back for a second. Think to the moments before Ms. Von Karma arrived with the final pieces of evidence. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. A decision where I chose guilty even though we weren't sure if Maya was going to be safe. Yeah, here we go, blah blah blah. Do we really have to watch this again? Come on. Should I side with justice or should I save Maya's life? Is he guilty, or is he not guilty? Those were your choices then. And your answer? Your answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. That's right. Right! Edgeworth? I have good news. Maya's now safe in police custody. Really? Pearls, you're telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, she's quite safe. She's on her way here as we speak in a patrol car. Ah! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya's safe! You did it! You really did it, Mr. Nick! Ow, she punched deceptively hard for a kid. I... I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. <laughs> uh, um, thanks. Oh, what's wrong? Miss Von Karma. Um... About earlier. Uh, thanks. Ow! Why are you still smiling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You... You lost! You perfect win record has now been crushed! And yet, you're still happy? <laughs> I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you! Don't worry. She may in time. After all, I was like that myself until a year ago. Edgeworth, for my own personal victories and for guilty verdicts. I used every dirty trick in the book, so my win records remained spotless. But a man appeared and stood face fast against that selfish me. I fought him in my usual manner and tasted my first defeat. I felt like I had lost everything because of that. And then, I remember that case. It was my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. And I was saved by that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. And I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Hmm, <laughs> as well you should have. A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. Well, that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What foolish nonsense! We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. And every time we did so... No matter how desperate a situation... Instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. Wh what? You trusted your enemy? It doesn't matter how many underhand tricks a person uses, the truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is to fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. 
embracing the paradoxes one, up, one by one. It's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch, but we will always eventually reach that one single truth. This, I promise you. The truth? Yes. That's the reason why prosecutors and defense lawyers exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory. Who ran away into the night. Ah! Is Mr. Edgeworth right, Mr. Nick? You really let me down. When you disappeared, I felt... Betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was because I believed in the things you said to me. All those years ago. And you. You betrayed your own words. That's why one year ago, I made, my, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edger I knew had died. At least that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool! Miss Von Karma? I don't want to hear the wrenched whimpering of a disgraced loser. A Von Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy. You are no longer worthy of being a Von Karma. And neither am I. It's over. It's all over! Francisca threw something on the ground just now. This is... Electromagnetic Receiver. Is that the thing she used to track Detective Gumshoe? I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else. Ugh! Oh, isn't that Miss Francarno's whip? I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. You should keep this right. Um... Okay. Nick! Ah! My... Maya! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! Oh god, it's gonna make me cry. Yay, we're back together! Oh. Oh, Nick, I knew you would come through. You got on guard convicted like I knew you would. On the top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. But we sure pressed our luck this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt you like a bad ghost to the pearly. Is it really that easy to do something like that? Probably. Thanks a lot, Nick. Um, don't mention it. Maya? Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, well, I um, suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, her stomach. Alright! I think it's time we get out, got out of this depressing place. Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick! Food! Grub! Chow! I'm starved! I'm so hungry, even you look like a nice juicy burger and a bun to me, Nick! You think I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib, at least. Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please. Uh, um, if you insist. All right, so how about we hit up our usual burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? This case messed up was awesome, messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of my gourmet food. So I decided we have to make it up by having another feast. Another feast? Come on, Nick! Food! Ah, food it is. Well, we're back here in Gatewater Hotel. Hey, pal. Sorry, I keep you guys waiting. <laughs> oh, poor Edgeworth. Poor uh, Gumshoe. Gumshoe, are you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole, of all things. A telephone pole? Then it wasn't a red light that got him. You did it again, city boy! I thought my dear old hoe was gonna give out on me, and I ain't joking. 
Yeah, it was more exciting than every last, very last episode of Still Samurai. <laughs> Thanks. Now looky here, Mr. Snooty Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Wright too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it. Tonight, even. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Well, come on now, everyone gather around. Y'all are gonna get a picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Looks like Lala bought herself a new camera. Well, pal, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. You know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved that day, detective. Huh? Me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Oh, well, you know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wait. That's odd. When I ran off of the things from the de killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things total, sir. What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item. Ah, uh, come on, y'all. It's over. But who? Boy, I tell ya. You really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped? Never a dull moment with you, huh? Haha, <laughs> you think? Why does she look so happy about that? But being shut away for two whole days? Weren't you scared? Yeah, it was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had a rough girl, gal. So where's this picture of yours? Yeah, I want to see it! I want to see Mr. Maya's picture! Hmm... You know, I don't know where it went. Aww, that's too bad. Well, it's alright. It wasn't anything important anyway. Aww. I'm sure it's nice to finally see them both smiling again. Oh god. Every time I hear beeping, I- Oh wait, that must be the pager. Hmm? What is it, Edgeworth? This thing is picking up something up. Oh, that's, uh, that's Mr. Uncarmon's receiver. receiver. Ugh, thanks, sir. I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. That's odd. Even though you're standing right here, the tracking device seems to be at a different location. Oh, it was probably Buster or something, sir. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't eaten anything yet! You've eaten way too much, you glutton. I had fun tonight. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait. What? I just want to say thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. <laughs> if anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone are enough here. I wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel. And although it doesn't make sense, it's it's the whip. Thrown away by Van Karma, it has a certain mysterious nostalgia to it. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only I was only doing my job. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Miss Tegmaia! Hmm? Yeah, Pearly? I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? You and Mr. Nick, I mean? Pearly? Would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me! Um, anyway. So, who's paying for this lovely dinner party? As if you need to ask, everyone say thank you to Nick! Huh? Oh yeah, I'm kind of at the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. So I kind of already put your name on a bill. Huh? What? Huh? Yeah, I got me a situation just like that myself. There's this camera shop in this hotel. See, I just bought myself this good old beauty here. It'd be better be it better be anyhow for three thousand dollars. Huh? 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 Actually, I reckon you bought it for me since it's on your tab and all. What happened? What happened? Huh? Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick. 
Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Oh, don't you need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal. Time to let it all out. This is gonna be the first time I hear you, the real you. Go on, it's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being a hostage, hostage and all. Alright then, if you say so. How do I say it? OBJECTION! Oh, it didn't work. Hold on, wait, I can... Objection! There you go. And that's how the first game ended, guys. Yell objection. I didn't, didn't do it right, though. All you had to do was press A and it would do it automatically even if you couldn't use the microphone. You really came through for me, Nick. I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really feel like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? I feel like a pro. I guess that's a good thing. I don't know, but hey, she escaped death. Let's see who else is there. Furley. I'm so happy you could save Mystic Maya, Mr. Nick. I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of, I think this is a hotel's popular place for honeymooners. So I sort of made reservations for the two of you. Just in case. Oh, pearls. Ah, jeez. I don't know why she doesn't get out of her head that we're not gonna date, or not dating, period. Well, pal, looks like I'm back in the force again. Miss Edgeworth had a long talk with the chief, and he got me reinstated for that, whatever. I heard he said things like, letting that one go is a bad for all society. I knew it. Crash headlong to everything is the only way to live, pal. I love Gumshoe. Although he's a bumbling idiot and really doesn't like us sometimes, he's a good guy, period. It's Maggie! I, Maggie Bird, am retiring this uniform as of today, sir. I'm gonna be a waitress from now on. And bring smiles and joy to the people who come by a restaurant, sir. I hope you'll stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. Yeah, maybe I will stop by. Maybe I will. Who else is there gonna be? Oh god, not him. Hmm, yeah, it says you were here to visit a patient? Hmm, I'm Director Hardy. Ho oh, ho. Recently, hmm, yes. That girl, you know? I haven't seen her around. Hmm, yes. But I remember, if, if I remember laid so much of an eye on her, it would go crack. Hmm. It didn't matter if I got whipped, though. Hmm, hmm yes. Ho oh, ho. Yeah, thank god I don't have to see him for the moment. Oh. I wonder what he, what he, who he really was, though, because we all know he wasn't really Director Hadi, but still. It's time to begin our quest for World Circus Domination, sweetie. And to let the world know we are serious, I plan to make a fabulous flight of Zimbabwe. Hey, Max, what do you think Zimbabwe is like? Do you think we are castles made of cake and bunnies who can talk? I think there are but talking bunnies, even though they won't laugh at Mo's jokes. Aww. Poor Mo, still having a hard time, huh? He really wasn't that funny. Oh, well, speaking of Mo, I'm ready! I'm ready! There's no way these jokes are gonna fall on deaf ears. I'm gonna be more contemporary of my humor. Mo curls r r represent. We got a new act all worked out. Prepare for the Hallelujah chorus. Say something, will you? You're supposed to start this off. Get on with it. Uh, good old abusive Trillo. Or Ben, I guess, since he really is the ventriloquist controlling Trillo, but whatever. What's this? Trash is an ordinary electric razor recharging on a stand. I can't believe this, really! How long do you plan on making me do this? Oh, but it's Edgy Pooh's idea, so that means there must be a deep hidden meaning. But, why do I get the feeling they wouldn't forget about me, would they? Oh, it was never like this in the old days. Everyone thought the world of me. They used to call me Queen Wendy and treat me like royalty and... And she's bitching and nagging once again. Of course, it wouldn't be old back. She didn't do so. Oh, God. So as you can see, the credits, there are not that many people actually go into making this game. And I guess there really shouldn't be. Since the game is fairly linear. Well, it is linear and just heavily story-based. I appreciate everything you and you and Mr. Edgeworth did for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's right, I received a letter from Miss Von Karma. She said that after I get out, I should feel free to consult her about anything at all. 
I'm really thankful to have met everyone. Oh, see, it's like that when I just hug Adrian. You know, she's like, oh, you know, she's nice. Oh, jeez. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I'll take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. And we both be blessed with longevity. And I... Well, there you go. There's no way you can contact him now. See, I want to... I'm sure... I'm sure he would have known if we were actually tracing that call or not, but... In any case, maybe one day he'll get his comeuppance, whatever it's called. And now for the final scene. International Departures, Gate 12. A couple hours after the whole Gatewater hotel party. I wonder who's here. Where are you going, Francisca? How did you know I was here? With this. That's... I heard you were planting thing you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in this coat, for example. Hmm. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he's always he was always wearing it. This filthy drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. It's going to trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. When I ran off of the things from- oh yeah, he's talking about four items. Yeah, that is true. Four items? It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here? It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you gonna do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? SHUT UP! You don't understand a thing! You can't possibly understand what it means to be, be Manfred von Karma's daughter! Franziska. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill! I'm expected to win no matter what. And failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But... But me? I'm no genius. I've always known that. But I... I had to be one. I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this whole gave me this to hold on to. Wright. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm gonna say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always, you've always left me alone and walked on, uh, walked on ahead of me, without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix Wright bow down in defeat, then this girl you left behind would have been risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were gonna use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using your, his taxi, tactics. Isn't that right? Hmm. Today, you chased after me after I had left you behind all those years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But I have no intention of stopping. If you say you are going to quit your, quit your walk down a prosecutor's path, then... This is where we part ways, Francisco Von Karma. Uh, oh, no, 
Oh, don't do that. Oh, jeez. I... I... I am Franziska von Karma. Don't think I'm gonna walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth. Ah. Goodbye, Francisca. Phoenix Wright, one day, someday, I'm sure we'll meet again in battle. Until then, this last piece of evidence that never made it to you, I'll take good care of this fourth piece so I can give it to you when at last we meet again. And this fourth piece of evidence would be that. Maya always knew where we'd save her. And that's how she kept her sanity and she kept going. And that, guys, is the finale and ending of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. It's been one hell of a battle, guys, but we've done it. After 80-something parts, it is finally completed. Actually, I don't want to do that. Um, see, I wish there was a way I can actually look at the menu, um, like the actual, uh, how, how to go, um, what the hell was I going to say? Um, like the graphics for like each episode beginning. You, you know what I mean, like the title card, if you want to say. Um, I, I wanted to show you guys that, but I don't know if I can actually look at it. I'll just go on Google. You'll be able to find it. But, in any case, yeah, guys, that is it. Um, four cases, that was it. It's actually, I think it's the shortest out of Phoenix Wright games. I'm, I'm actually playing Trials and Tribulations right now. I'm just kind of like doing like a practice run, because I will eventually be LPing it. Um... Don't know when though. If, if you guys are wondering, I I don't like doing games in a series right after another. What I mean by that, I don't like doing Phoenix Wright to Phoenix Wright Justice for All, then Ju Trials and Tribulations, and then Apollo Justice. I don't like doing that. I like um, giving myself a break in between by doing like another game. It may be short, maybe long, who knows. But in any case, um, Trials and Tribulations is not coming up next. I'll take I'm taking a little break. I'm not sure when um when I'll go back and do in trials and tribulations, but um until then, I I mean I have no idea what I'm going to do next anyway. I'll figure it out eventually. Um cuz I'm recording this on the 11th of January and uh I'm assuming this isn't going to go up until either the end of January or it's probably going to be February cuz I'm only on uh, let's think about this for a minute. Yeah, it's probably going to be the beginning of February until when this is going to be finished. Uh, if I do, if I upload every day, that is. So yeah, guys. Um, I'll let, I just want to thank you all for watching, you know, and being with me, supporting me for uh, this LP. I really appreciate it. You guys simply rock. You guys make me want to continue doing these LPs and continue, even. LPing this series. I love Phoenix Wright and I want you guys to experience it with me. So, once again, as usual, thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Stay tuned for whatever the hell I plan to LP next. <laughs>